My name is Niamh Hannafin, and I'm the Senior Advisor for Information Integrity at UNDP's Global Policy Center for Governance. And I'm really pleased to be able to contribute to this important course. As you've already heard, generative artificial intelligence has real impacts on voters' rights to accurate, trustworthy information, on the legitimacy of electoral processes, and on the ethics of political campaigning. These challenges really go beyond the business as usual of organizing an election. And as this is a relatively new and a very complex challenge, electoral authorities in many places are still developing the systems and mechanisms and skills needed to respond. So I want to focus on why UNDP encourages electoral authorities and other stakeholders to build strong coalitions as part of their response particularly in relation to three important challenges that often stymie efforts to respond to information pollution effectively. The first challenge is a significant power imbalance. Tackling information pollution online needs the engagement and action of large global online platforms. These powerful companies control vast flows of information online, but they're relatively inaccessible and it's really challenging for national institutions or civil society organizations to have effective engagement, especially in global majority countries. By forming coalitions, there's an opportunity to consolidate those efforts, to streamline communications and to be more effective in advocacy. The second challenge is the lack of a collective understanding of the risks and possible responses. Coalitions provide valuable platforms for analyzing available data and identifying particular threats or risks or trends. They also allow coordinated responses from different actors exploring different aspects of the problem, surfacing best practice and developing consensus-driven recommendations. These collaborations allow diverse groups to share insights, to elevate effective solutions, and to collectively advocate for effective action at all levels to safeguard information during critical electoral periods. And the third challenge is that no one agency or institution or organization possesses all of the skills and the competencies or even the mandate needed to address information pollution effectively. Having a diverse set of perspectives and expertise is really important if we're to tackle a multifaceted problem like this effectively. By bringing together expertise in areas like data analysis, law enforcement, election administration, women's political participation, strategic communications, and so on, our chances of co-creating strong responses are greatly improved. I want to highlight two examples of what I would consider to be successful coalition building initiatives, one at the national level and one at the global level. Prior to the 2022 elections in Kenya, the UN, including UNDP, and the National Cohesion and Integration Commission established a social media consortium. This brought together technology companies, researchers, and youth groups to identify and address disinformation and hate speech during the elections period. The consortium conducted monitoring and investigative activities to identify problematic content in multiple languages. This data was then used to develop peace messaging, to issue regular reports around the elections, and it also allowed the creation of online mediation spaces for youth groups to discuss issues related to peace building and the elections. It allowed the consortium to have informed discussions with online platforms also, with over 550,000 posts being labeled on just Facebook alone. At the global level, UNDP saw a gap in coordinated global dialogue on this issue. In response, UNDP launched the Action Coalition on Information Integrity in Elections in 2022. The Action Coalition is a global platform which brings together experts from electoral support organizations, the private sector, the United Nations, government agencies and civil society. Its overall aim is to produce actionable recommendations to help protect the integrity of information ecosystems during elections. But it's also um, a way to improve information sharing and coordination among key stakeholders in electoral assistance. These exchanges have proved really valuable for linking national and global initiatives and for collectively identifying best practice. In conclusion, as we navigate a landscape increasingly dominated by generative AI tools and online platforms, safeguarding voters' rights and the integrity of electoral processes has really taken on a new urgency. 
The success stories of initiatives like the Social Media Consortium in Kenya and the Global Action Coalition highlight the tangible benefits of collaborative efforts. UNDP really encourages electoral authorities and others to embrace coalition building as a critical strategy. So I'm pleased to hand over now to Samson Idoto, who is the executive director of Yaga Africa, who's going to share his perspectives on this issue also. Thank you so much for listening. Hello, my name is Samson Itodo, the executive director of Yaga Africa and principal partner at the Election Law Center. I am pleased to share some thoughts on the imperative of building coalitions at global, regional, and local level to address the impact of AI on elections and information integrity, especially in the year I judge as the super year of elections. The positive and negative impact of AI on elections and information integrity are unprecedented. On a positive note, AI can enhance the efficiency of electoral commissions in handling election logistics, training of election personnel, and timely conclusion of elections. AI prevents multiple registrations, manipulation of the voters' register, and with machine learning and computer vision, AI can detect errors and alterations on resolved sheets. It can also accelerate voter authentication to ensure only eligible persons vote during elections. To make informed choices during elections, voters require accurate and trustworthy information. Now, AI can accelerate the process of voter education and public outreach for elections. AI can be used to simplify complex election messages through text or images to encourage voter participation in elections, as we have seen in places like South Africa, and Nigeria, where the Electoral Commission employs AI tools like chatbots for voter outreach. Despite the potential of AI to protect electoral and information integrity, there are risks and challenges of AI adoption in elections that require broad breed coalitions to address. Now, let's explore why and how to build coalitions to safeguard election and information integrity. First, with AI integration in elections, new actors such as software developers, engineers, and big tech companies, programmers, and social media influencers have emerged as electron stakeholders. Often, these actors engage in unethical conduct that contaminates the information space, making it possible for the public to access misleading content and false information. It will take a coalition of actors at global and local levels to successfully fact check false, false information and demand accountability from these actors, especially the deep tech companies. So coalitions facilitate information sharing, peer learning, and amplify advocacy on platform accountability. Second, successful use cases of AI in elections not only incentivize AI uptake, but it supports institutions like electoral commissions to make informed policy decisions on the adoption of AI. With the diverse nature of coalitions, they can aggregate positive and negative use cases of AI to support election stakeholders manage the opportunities and risk of AI in elections. So as a resource, coalitions can support electoral commissions with skills, knowledge of how to limit algorithmic bias in machines used for voter authentication during elections, or even support these institutions with mechanisms for addressing hallucinations in chatbots employed for voter education. Thirdly, the pace of AI innovation globally provides a compelling case for global and regional coalitions to design regulatory frameworks for AI usage. While a uniform set of regulation is not feasible, but there are basic standards to guide AI regulation at the local level. 
So global coalitions can partner with local groups to ensure AI regulations uphold human rights, inclusiveness, transparency, and accountability. Now, as the world navigates this super year of elections, election and information integrity and voting rights are bound to come under pressure due to over-reliance on electoral technology and social media to drive aspects of the electoral process. AI-generated disinformation and misinformation can be employed to delegitimize electoral institutions and processes and influence negative voter behavior towards elections. So stakeholders can harness the power of coalitions and alliances to mitigate the risk AI poses to voting rights, election, and information integrity. Coalitions are tools for countering disinformation, exposing harms caused by AI tools, and force for demanding accountability from big tech companies. This is why we at Niger Africa are building a broad-based coalition at the local level of civil society, of media, of electoral commissions, including big tech companies, to hold companies to account, counter disinformation towards elections, but more importantly, infiltrate the information ecosystem with verifiable, reliable, and authentic information during elections. I hope with this video, you appreciate the importance of building coalitions to counter the risk AI poses to elections.